What's happening, YouTube? It's me, Matt, from A to Z Diecast. Going to do uh, a video tonight of the brand new Hot Wheels ID, the recolor. So this is the third ID. There was the original with the off-black color, Zamac-ish, Spectrochrome, color, whatever, uh, in a box. This is the second one in the box, but there's also the carded ID, which I did a video of before. And we're going to do that with a little bonus of a Zamac Shelby Cobra. Compliments of my boy Anthony. Very rarely, and this is his words, not mine, very rarely does he get to give me something that I don't have. Thank you, Anthony. But before we get to that, let's bang this out. Okay. So apparently these are coming out in different... Um, boxes soon so if you're one of those people that collects all the different packaging ones Andy Goodman good luck but so series 2 Batmobile classic TV Batman classic TV series Batmobile or known as the 66 Batmobile uh, for those who don't know while I'm opening this RFID stands for radio frequency identification each car has a chip inside of it down there. That chip has a identifier in it. Only this car has that number. If you decide to race on a Hot Wheels ID track, not only do you get to track it, literally, but you get to supposedly um, upgrade based on your stats and stuff like that in the game. I don't have that. My son hasn't gotten into that yet, thank God. So, check out that cool little opening. Bam! You know what? Let me go get another one. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? Of course not. I paused it. I wasn't going to let you just sit here while I was searching for the stuff. So, again. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that was my water system in there. So if you heard that, I'm sorry. So let's check out the car first, then we'll compare them. Okay, we got blue and yellow color combination. <clears throat> With some silver or gray, whatever you want to call it. The bat canopy, tinted. I like the color combo. I mean, I do, but it's just not Batmobile-ish. So what's different? Well, it's got a blue base. So the first edition of this was this one. Um, look at that's different. That is... Uh, significantly different oh but wait what do we have here we have the other Hot Wheels ID Batmobile how can you tell them different well duh this was the regular release but it's got the ID on the bottom regular wheels though first edition Second edition. Okay, so what what do I see different between these two? Well, there's the Batman logo and also behind the exhaust pipes. On this one, we've got the Hot Wheels ID logo. That's a new edition. Was this supposed to have it and didn't? That's a good question. Check yours and let me know. The scallops... On the side look a little different too. Hmm. So it might not actually be a, re, a just a, a recolor. There looks to be some differences. I do like the wheels that say Batman on it though. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's some 
subtle differences in the paint scheme. I don't know. I like. So again, I'm not keeping the box that can go. Ooh, get back here. Those can go in the garbage. So there's the Batmobiles. There's the first edition, there's the second edition, and that was the carded ID chase. Roland, thanks for that one. Roland uh, got me that. And here's your bonus review. Here is the Shelby Cobra Zamac for 2020. Number 15. So this is in the end case. So again, Zamax are here in the States, Walmart exclusives, only finding them at Walmart, supposedly. You technically could find them other places if someone returns it because it's the same UPC codes. Um, not getting into that today. Wow. I am all over the place today. So Zamac is no paint, just tampos. The original car of this was black with the orange. Come on, focus there, paint. Come on, paint. There we go. Very cool car. Again, I say it all the time. This car is the reason why I became a car enthusiast. So one of these driving down the road, and I just, it was just cool. Um, eventually, I'll go through all my Cobras and do some comparisons. Big difference between the originals and these. This used to open. It does not anymore. It is solid. But I guarantee if you drill those rivets out, there's a motor in there. So if you really wanted to, you could really customize that. But again, just a quick review. As you can tell, I'm yawning because I am shot. A uh, quick review of this, the bonus review of this, the Zamax. So again, don't forget to leave me some comments. Batman 66 Batmobiles IDs and bonus Shelby 427 Classic Cobra Zamac. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the rest of my videos. Peace.